Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokes to the channel. I'm showing this, this uh, 70s Made in Japan uh, Aria Robert Conte. It's an amazing guitar. This thing is heavy, too, which I kind of like. But anyway, um, I'm just going to shut up and play. This is plugged in. No, the, not, this is the other version was on, but this is plugged in. Using a solid state amp. You know, I barely have the amp turned on right now. And like I said, it is a solid state amp. I'm just gonna come up just a, just a tad in volume here because I barely have it up. And uh, like I said, this is a solid state amp. I, I really like, I like this, the tone of it though. But anyway, let's just play it. I'm gonna keep this short so it downloads. Really nice guitar though. I think this is a Benedetto floating pickup. It really has a nice tone. box man I'm gonna stop right there Look at the top on that. The, the soaking patterns, the little patterns that go sideways on the top, is just unbelievable. This this really reminds me of a very, very high-end jazz box. I think it's way undervalued right now, and it's a really hard guitar for me to let go of because I love stuff like this. But uh, whatever. Can't fall in love with the inventory, but it sure is hard. Beautiful ebony fretboard, tons of fret. Really, really a nice guitar. I love the headstock. I love the giant headstock. I think that adds to the tone. Anywho, so... Uh, Let's get this downloaded, uploaded, I guess I should say. So this is a 70s made in Japan. Um, Robert Connie model. It kind of reminds me of a cross, kind of a cross between a Super 400 and an L5. But honestly, and I'm not just saying this, and I know when I use that word honestly, people are like, yeah, right. But it sounds better than any old Gibson L5 I've ever owned in my life. I'm not kidding you. It's got more overtones. I mean, I, I put this guitar in, a, in an altered tuning. I use, starting with the low E, I make it a D, A, D, G, C, D. Got that from Michael Hedges. And I play this guitar, you know, I play like altered tuning stuff that I'd normally play on an acoustic guitar on this because it just has such great overtones. And this guitar is loud unplugged. I mean, really has volume unplugged. Not just volume, but it has uh, that overtone series. It just 
It's really kind of reminds me of a cross between a really great vintage Gibson Super 400 and a great L5 with a little bit of Epiphone in there. It's just it's an unbelievable guitar. Really don't want to sell it. Really want to keep it, but it's hard to have a guitar business and start falling in love with stuff and keeping it, you know? Not the best mix. All right, take care.